going on, everybody? It's your boy Bill for anything. And in this video, we're going to talk about Dr. Disrespect. Um, I've been waiting to talk about this. I've been sitting back, observing, and I feel like this situation has so many layers to it, so many things to unpack, um, so many angles to this that I, I just, I felt like I had to make this video because I want to, I want to get into this conversation. Okay. And I want to, I want to start from the top, right? So some of you who don't know who he is, um, uh, unless you've been living on the rock, um, Dr. Disrespect was a streamer. Um, I, I, I call him an end, you know, he's basically an entertainer at the, at the point he kind of exceeded what you would consider a streamer. He was a celebrity. Okay. Um, but he started off on, uh, Twitch and then he came over to YouTube. Uh, he plays games like, um, Call of Duty, Black Ops and, um, PUBG and, and Fortnite and all these like battle type games and whatnot. And he's made like a huge name for himself. Okay. Now I remember when I first heard about him, it was actually from a friend of mine's, um, who told me about it. And this was back in 2020. This is when he came over to YouTube when essentially he got banned from Twitch. Now at that time, it was like this whole big mystery, right? Like nobody, nobody knew why he came over to YouTube. Um, and I remember watching that first few streams of him coming on YouTube and the dude was just like getting like, just, I mean, people were just pouring in the subs were pouring in and it was, it was crazy. Right. I was like, wow, you know, let me, let me see what this guy is about. Let me see, you know, what's all the hype. Right. And so, you know, I watched for a little bit and, and I saw like, okay, he, he kind of, he, he built like this persona, you know, and at first I, I, I saw him and I was like, hold on, I, I, is that his real hair? You know, I come to find out he, you know, it's a wig, it's a costume, you know, like this, that's his whole shtick, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Sounds good. <clears throat> but I ain't really, I, I want to say I probably watched like one or two, um, and I, like one or two of his live streams or whatever. And I was just like, uh, you know, I, I don't really, for me, I don't really like to watch like huge streamers like that because I feel like it's something very disconnected, you know, with the audience, you know, when you're that large, you know, these guys don't even have to like play the game like they just show up and like people are just like raining in money on them you know what i mean at that point it's just like it's kind of like being part of like a, a mega church right <laughs> you're like man i'm never going to really meet the pastor i'm not going to really meet the staff or the people who work there you know you don't get the same vibe as if you go to like a, a smaller church you know where you feel more involved right like for me personally i kind of like you know to hang out at like smaller channels or watch smaller channels you know grow and, and and interact with because usually again those larger channels is just like it's it's just that they're, they're, they're just way too far out there so anyway fast forward um so that's always been like the big mystery right like why did you know why did he get let go from twitch right because he was essentially their biggest their their, their biggest streamer okay and so as time went on okay now we've come to find out what really occurred now apparently back in 2017 okay um he was caught you know by twitch staff or whoever monitors their platform um to be having inappropriate conversations with a minor now this is his words okay so th these these were things that was alleged but he essentially confirmed in his words in the tweet okay so from 2017 so he didn't get banned until 2020. Came over to YouTube. Okay. And again, this is this is a guy with over 4 million subs, you know, on on YouTube. Um, I think he had well over that uh on Twitch. Because let me tell you something. If you live stream, okay, if you live stream and you really got an audience, that Twitch platform is probably better for you because the 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 chats the way just the way they have things structured over there okay so whatever he got going on here he probably was doing twice as much over there and i think he even mentioned in the video that he was making a quarter of what he was doing he what he was making over at twitch and so 2020 okay so if y'all following the timeline this is three years after the alleged situation occurred um that he admitted to 2017 2020 he's on youtube all of a sudden now we're in 2024 and this comes out so 
over the course of seven years, he's been doing his thing, showing up at video, showing up at uh, NBA games, you know, having sponsorships with with Gillette and just all these other all these companies, right? All these sponsorships. He's on NBA 2K, right? Um, just just larger than life, right? Persona. And all the while, this this occurred. And what really got me was the fact that, okay, the situation occurred. He actually then sued Twitch, okay? Because the whole time he was telling us, like, the audience, like, he didn't know why. He didn't know. He didn't know. He's waiting to find out why he got let go, why he got, and, and, and why it was significant is because, you know, guy, you know, guys like that, people like that who uh, are that big on their platform usually have contracts or some sort of deals, exclusivities to like, hey, just stream on our platform. We'll pay you X amount. You know, don't go over to YouTube, you know, and vice versa. Right. So he he had a he had a deal in place or was offered to him um, in which he agreed to. And then this situation, um, they presented itself and, and then that's when they they let him go and or they cut him out of the contract and they banned him. Right. And like indefinitely from from their platform, um, he actually sued them and won. <laughs> so that really had me like, wait, what? So let me get this right. You obviously, you know what you did. You, you like, OK, I, my, my thing is, I would assume like they had to have told them, even though it was made seem like he didn't know me. I'm a. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. But I'm sure it came up maybe in a court case. I would imagine because if I'm a large company, I want you to think about this, though. Think about this for real. I want you to think about the Tiger Woods lost a bunch of sponsorships back when he had the situation with his with his wife. Right. Um, Kanye West, you know, lost the Adidas deal. You know, you got Kyrie Irving who lost a deal like the list goes on and on of celebrities who um who's done like, you know, stupid things or things that wasn't very popular, um, which kind of tarnished whatever their public image in which companies have let go of them. And when was the last time you heard of any one of those individuals actually suing that company and getting money back? What? Because it's pretty clear to me and most people that a lot of times these type of deals are just laced with verbiage around your conduct and how if you do said thing that we have the ability to come out of this contract because obviously we it's a reputation thing we don't want to be associated with someone who does you know xyz like these things are baked into these types of contracts and a lot of times when something occurs you you hardly ever hear of anybody actually suing the them uh I, even now right like he's he's lost deals with um, the 49ers, you know, he had something with them, um, the NBA 2K, like you think he's going to sue them? Maybe, I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> and do you think they're going to pay him? I doubt it. So it made me, it made me really look at Twitch and say, well, what is it? Like, what? why did you guys pay him? And my thing is this, I know a lot of people's theory is very simple. It's like, Hey, most companies are going to just settle. They don't want to make a whole big fuss about it. And that's true. That's true. Um, however, the balls on this guy to sue. If you know what you did, if you know that what you did would make you look that terrible, okay, especially when you are a public figure, because that's what he is. He's a public figure, okay, on a very large platform that you intend to continue to stream. It wasn't like he stopped streaming. The man is still was still streaming up until about a couple of days ago on YouTube. Okay, so he was still doing what he was doing. And you actually sued knowing that. And you won. Or or they settled. What clearly what that tells me is that it they there's some part of it that they are at fault for that they said, you know what? Rather than this opening up and then this them starting to dig into what we're doing and there's probably far worse things that goes on my guess is that 
whatever's going whatever went on went on for so long that maybe they look at it and they say you know what this is something that's going to come back to us because as a company we should be able to keep track of this and they knew that that heat would be far more on them to regulate that stuff that they say you know what let's just pay this guy off and let's just keep it moving which is which is kind of crazy when you think about it from a company because it's like damn what kind of skeletons is you hiding that you won't even defend like something like this. This should be this should be easy. They should send a lawyer in to say, "Hey, look, this is what he did, judge. Against our against our terms of service, got caught doing this, that, and the third. We ain't paying him a goddamn thing. Case closed. Case closed. Because I'm sure there's something in that contract. Unless I mean, silly if they would put a contract together and not include something like that. I highly doubt that." But like, what are you doing when you, what does that say about the company if you're just going to pay it off like that? So that's, that's, that's a big thing there too. And so what's going to go on with Mr. Herschel Bean, AKA Dr. Disrespect? Because right now he's a meme. Right now people are, are, are making jokes about him. They tying him to the song, you know, not like us. Um, the diss track that was for Drake and, 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 you know, Kendrick, you know, making allegations towards Drake uh, about, you know, him and minors, right? And so right now it's a snowball effect. Every time I turn on, every time I turn on social media, they're talking about him, right? And so what's going to happen with him? He's taking a break. Shit, who knows? He may come back, he might not. I believe he's going to come back. I believe he's laying low. He's going to chill. The man is 42. He's been doing this for over 14 years. He's made a ton of money. He's probably going to chill. Chill with his family. Ignore social media. The court of public opinion don't mean a goddamn thing anyway. Because the minute something else becomes popular and the thing to talk about, everybody's going to forget all about this. And all he got to do, and let me tell you something, this is proof. It works every time. As long as you're successful, people will forget. Last time I checked, I pulled it up right before making this video. He still got over 4 million subscribers. So what did uh, people not? <laughs> you think 4.66 million people don't know where to find the unsubscribe button if they really feel a way? Clearly, that's not the case. Clearly. Now, I did hear that YouTube has suspended, you know, uh, you know, whatever monetization on his channels or whatever. Look, man, all these guys, all these companies now are trying to virtual signal, all these companies knew exactly what was going on. And that's what I really want to get into. OK, that's what I really want to get into. And that's what people like us, people on the outside who's viewing this thing should really pay attention to if you are a parent okay you have children this is why you need to monitor the things that they do and i'm not this isn't the, this isn't me trying to victim blame i'm not talking about that i'm not trying to victim blame i'm talking about you need to understand the lengths okay that companies will go to to protect themselves okay that in a situation like this, that at the end of the day, he wasn't charged, never got arrested, didn't spend a day or an hour in prison for it. So I believe the police did see whatever information and they, they, they let it go. So at the end of the day, he's good. He's good. But you need to pay attention to these companies because a lot of people like to put the responsibility on these platforms, these companies and these devices and thinking that they're going to be the there is their responsibility to filter the information that comes to your child. No, it's your responsibility. It is your responsibility. If you got a kid that's honestly younger than 16 years old or whatever, and they're running around with a cell phone like most kids do these days or iPads, or access to a computer, or any type of device, you need to understand the type of access and information that they are getting privy to. 
and you need to be careful. You need to do everything you can to protect your child from predators. Predators that can be both men and women. Okay? That could be targeting your young daughters and sons. Okay? You got to you got to you got to wake up to that. And it don't matter who it is. And that's why I like the this and this is why I'm going to continue to make videos like this when it comes to these type of celebrities because I see so many people that want to defend and defend and defend and now they're trying to walk it back. You don't know these people. That's why I mentioned in my other video I was talking about Kendrick and Drake and I'm saying, "Hey, let's slow down now. All these guys run in the same circles." And they're allowed to walk in these same circles because a lot of times they partake in nefarious things as well. You don't get to be there if you don't. So the type of world that these celebrities are living in is a very different world than what we experience. And in their world, a lot of the things that we deem as shameful or disgusting or this or that, it's a normal Monday or Tuesday to them. It's normal. But when it comes out and it starts to affect the bottom line, then everybody starts to distance themselves. It is always going to be your responsibility to protect your children. Let me tell you something. You can't even go on Twitter. I used to, I used to hate, I couldn't even pull up Twitter in, in, you know, the, around people because I feel like I'll scroll to something that's totally non-sexual, just something, a regular post. You click on it, the minute you scroll down, or even if you just scrolling through you, boom, you got some ass and titties in your face, man. It's just, I don't, I don't, that's social media these days. It's social media. So, you got to definitely monitor what your kids is doing. And let me tell you something. If that situation went down the way that it's alleged that, you know, they were supposed to meet up at TwitchCon or whatever it is, you know who he should have been meeting up with? That child's father. Because if it was me, oh, he was going to meet up with somebody at that TwitchCon. I, he would have met, met up with somebody. It ain't going to be who he want to meet up with. So clearly that didn't happen. Clearly that didn't happen. So I don't, you know, these, these type of scenarios, he's fine. The man, the man literally for a living wore a wig, some shades and a fucked up mustache. Like he takes the wig off. He puts a cap on, shaves the mustache. He's good. He can walk around. Now he is pretty tall. I heard he's six, eight. So, I mean, people that are six, eight, you're kind of like, you know, they kind of stand out. But for the most part, like, he's fine. He's good. He could go do whatever he want to do. Like he said, go to Costa Rica, chill out for a couple. He's straight. Made millions of dollars on both platforms. He's good. But in the meantime, got to pay attention and observe these scenarios and understand why it's important to protect your children. It's important. Because any of these celebrities, if given the opportunity, who knows what they'll do? Who knows? And that's my video. So I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.